welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. Today I have the Southern Comfort Black on my cask. <clears throat> if you look at it, it's brownish in color. It, it sounds American, the spirit of New Orleans, Southern Comfort. It has 40% ABV and it generally looks like a whiskey. Is it a whiskey? 40% ABV suggests that it is a whiskey. It doesn't say whiskey on the bottle because it is not. It is not a whiskey. It is a whiskey liqueur. It means it is a, a mixture of whiskey and other, I would say, substances. Presumably a lot of water and usually what you do with liqueurs, you have them very, very sweet. Some of them do cream liqueurs and chocolate liqueurs or any other fruit liqueurs or honey. Uh, this time I think it's more of a sugary liqueur. Unfortunately, it doesn't say much on the bottle. It's a well-established brand. It's established 1874, so yeah, Southern Comfort is old, but um, it's, yeah. It's not a whiskey. Uh, none genuine, genuine but mine. Southern Comfort Black, uh, oh, it's in German, uh, combines the unique Southern Comfort character with the strong whiskey notes, aromas. For all that like the Southern Comfort intense. So this is, the black is a bit the more of the more intense character of the normal southern comfort normal southern comfort is also a liqueur so not a whiskey either but it, i think it's only 35 percent abv so when you look at the bottle and you realize oh 35 percent abv oh that's not a whiskey so um yeah but nonetheless let's uh let's have a look at oh here it says uh aromatized, aromatisiert in German, and caramel color. So this is not the natural color and there is aroma in it. Oh, <laughs> I know which aroma it is. <laughs> Gummy bears. No, seriously, it's, it's really unusually fruity, like gummy bears fruity with a uh, a distinct bourbon character so popcorn caramel so it's oh it's it's really 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 sweet yeah i think that's what the southerners like they like their their sweet tea and this is a bit stronger version of sweet tea mm. It's really, really sweet. It's like, like a strong candy in your mouth. But it's, it's not as fruity as the, as well, gummy bears as as the smell suggests. So when you, when you have it in your mouth, and you realize, okay, that's one of these bourbon types that just went much too far with the, with the with the toasting of the barrel. No, unusually too far with the toasting of the barrel. Yeah, there's definitely, there's definitely sugar or corn syrup or something like that added to it. So yeah, it's, it's, a, it's for the people who like it really sweet. Hmm. I've been to, to New Orleans last year in February, something like that. January, February or something like that. And yeah, that's a, that's a southerner's town. With, you realize there's, there's a lot of the African-American culture in there. And they have their, their main street is called Bourbon Street where you have like a party mile and didn't see any Southern comfort there yet, but uh, everything was blinking and Mardi Gras and pearls and, and <laughs> it was fun. So I think that's what, what the, the Southern Comfort represents, the, 
the fun south. Usually you don't only know the, the south as cotton farms and, I don't know, farms <laughs> in general, but this is the, this is the stuff that, that people used to party with, I would say, to, uh, to have just a sweet drink that has a, a decent amount of alcohol. Not quite sure how, how young or old the Southern Comfort Black is, but I think the Southern Comfort is uh, a bit of a traditional drink for, for the South States of the United States. And yeah, the New Orleans likes to drink. I've been there and, and they say, yeah, in Louisiana, when you when you order breakfast, it's it's okay. You can order a Bloody Mary or Margarita or anything. It's okay. Breakfast. Breakfast with Margaritas or Bloody Mary is good. So I was like, okay, it's just nine o'clock in the morning. <laughs> you can't just start your day off with with strong alcoholic drink to, you know, just chill with every all day. Hmm. 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 Okay, so I know you guys out there are mostly the malt heads and you like your your whiskey matured and malty complex. This is not it. This is this is a fun drink that um that you like when you want to have something very very sweet, gummy bear sweet. Hmm. It's almost it's 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 not almost it is sticky on your tongue. You realize you you feel when the the alcohol evaporates. You feel the stickiness, the residual sugar that is left on your your lips. So yeah, very very sugary and much more intense than a normal Southern Comfort. If you've tried the Southern Comfort, try the Southern Comfort Black. It's just more intense. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, then please feel free to share it with your friends. And see you next time.